Hello, Mega Crate here, and welcome to Binding of Isaac. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this game right now is because my PS3 is having uh, capturing problems. Um, so I can't record in the best capacity as I can with everything that needs to be in a Let's Play video, like audio and other things, mainly audio. So, uh, I'm going to be doing this game right now. I'll hit uh, Final Fantasy IX later when I get problems fixed. And maybe, hopefully, when I get more views. Because views, you know, motivate people to actually make content. So, multiple factors. So, I'm going to do Binding of Isaac for a little bit. You know, to pass the time until I get an idea for a new game I want to do. Uh... And all that good stuff. So, let's start off with uh, Binding of Isaac. New run. Uh, this is a file that I haven't used yet. Uh, as you can tell, you could do different uh, characters or whatnots. And, uh, but you have to unlock them. Like, unlock by picking up hearts for two levels. And, and apparently they all have um, different... Um, Stats and whatnot. So let's be Isaac, though. Because why not? Actually, the exact reason is because we can't be anybody else. So, uh, controls are basic. You use the uh, analog stick or D-pad, the left one, to uh, move around. You could use the right analog stick or the buttons to uh, fire. Uh, I do the... Um, Analog sticks for that combination. And uh, if you haven't played this game before, uh, it's pretty depressing. If you start up the game, there's a whole story and thing of why everything's happening. Um, so if you just let the game run for a little bit, it'll tell you everything. Um, but, um, yeah, it's pretty depressing and pretty fucked up. Like, extremely. Anyway, um,. The, the thing that really stands out for me in this game, except for, you know, every gross thing that is in this game, like, all around it, ever, is that, um, when you start up a game, it's never the same game. What I mean is, it, the, uh, basement and caves and all that, they're, they're always different. Every time you die, every time you, um, um, start up a new game, just every time you have to start from the beginning... And when you die, you do have to start from the beginning. Um, it The map changes. It's never the same map. I'm not sure if it's randomly generated or they have a dick load of presets. But it is pretty cool either way. Um, and you get cash. You can either buy things later on or um, gamble because there are slot machines hidden places. You can get several items. You have bombs that you can blow shit up with to find secrets or just to attack enemies with. And you get other items that either help you or hurt you. Uh, improving your shots or health and just, or like minions that stand by your side. By the way, your shots here are tears. They are tears. Like, that's symbolism right there. That's like, hey, we're depressing as fuck. Because, you know, you use tears as a weapon. This is an item. Double shot buddy. Oh, when you shoot, he shoots. This is fucking useful. Also, they have a lot of items. Like, I, I've been playing this game for a while. Actually, this is my second time recording because I realized my mic wasn't plugged in. So, here we are. Um, and every, every time I play this, there's always something different. I am always getting new items, stuff I haven't seen before. So, I haven't seen this guy before until now. Uh, this door, they, uh, they might have something good in there, or, or they might not. Uh, there's an icon, as you can tell here. Um, there's an icon in the corner. We're in the highlighted room. And the uh, icon in the corner, that shows that there's something in there. And also, you can, uh, how I'm doing this is you, you can touch the uh, touchpad on the PS4 to move this around. And all that, and it tells you information. If you need to see the map a little bit better, you can. 
So, um, when we walk through this door, every time you walk through that door, it takes away, uh, half a heart. So, essentially, you lose a whole heart. They just gave me a defense heart, which, uh, is a one-time use. If you lose all of it, you're done for. Uh, so pretty much, I just only wasted one half of a heart instead of two. Halves of a heart, which makes a whole heart. Like, holy shit. Um... So, I'm going to come in here and buy myself a heart so I have full health. Oh, I can use the gambling machine. Oh, wait. That's donations. What the fuck do donations do? See? These are things I haven't even found out yet. So much into... The you wouldn't think this game would be so much, like... There's so much to it, but there's a lot to it. Also, the bosses, uh, are, which are indicated by this door by the end of each level... Uh, they're different every time. Like the Duke of the Flies. This guy, uh, I think personally is one of the easier ones of all the bosses that you can potentially fight. Um, just because he sp spews a lot of flies. They do get in the way and this boss can be time consuming. But uh, really, it's not too bad. A lot of the bosses could really be defeated easily if you just have good hand-eye coordination and always move um oh speed up yay eh so uh my speed just got faster like my actual walking speed so i could dodge easier but that, that seems to be a thing with a lot of arcade games or just a lot of games in general if you keep on moving if you don't stay in one place your chances of living are a lot higher there's another one of those doors. I'm going to walk into it. Uh, this one has enemies in it. Uh, these spiders are little bitches. Uh, so let's just kill them all. Hopefully we get something out of it. Or just nothing. Uh, but I want something. Because I hope for nothing. Actually, I don't hope for anything. Why would I hope for things? That God damn it. Alright, cool. Um, let's go through this room. Let's make... Oh, okay. That's a lot of spiders. Stop it. Um... Cool. Nice fart, bro. Um, yeah, this game is just great in every form. It's, it's, it's nice and gross and shit. It's, um, I got a key. That, that's makes this game great. Um, fuck the story. You know, even though there's small story, there's still more story than destiny. It just bunch bunch of uh, I, I again I just love how random it is, not the not like the uh, context of it, even though a lot of shit is gross and random, but I mean like the actual generator of the maps is random, which is pretty amazing. Um, sometimes shit piles, and these are shit piles like quite literally. Sometimes they have items in them. Uh, sometimes they are also indicated with something to tell you that there's items in them. So, um... So I just like to check them anyway, just in case there is an item or not. Eh. Fucking corridors and shit. Alright, uh, meat monsters. I just have a feeling this is just a, a cellar that is also connected to a toilet. Because there's just a lot of... It's like a giant sewer. That it happens to be a basement as well. And I also happen to get hit. Um. You, and you could, you could have entire playthroughs where you don't go into one room that has, um. A, a long, uh. I'm trying, I'm trying to words here. A long, uh, corridor, big room. You can have just a bunch of small Zelda-like rooms. And I've had that happen before. Where this is a whole playthrough without any Zelda, without any other doors, any other rooms that are just not a, a one square room. And this is only like the second or third time I've ever seen a room like this, too. It's like, but I've also been in basement two many times. See, I, I just, I just love that. I just love that. I don't know what these purple things mean. I hope they mean I kill one and then they all die. Sometimes there's enemies like that. Not in this game. 
But you may never know. This game likes to pull fucking new shit on you. You, know, you gotta you gotta learn more enemies and you gotta learn more items on the spot. This is how classic gaming is. They don't fucking tell you and give you tutorials on literally everything. That'd be dumb. You, you know, they fuck. Words are hard, okay? Uh, ow, that hurt. Stop it. I need hearts, by the way. Hearts is a thing that I do need. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and. Oh, dodge. Oh, yeah. All over your face and your groin. Alright. Oh, yeah, I have an item. What does it do? Tears up. Okay, I don't know what that means. So I'm gonna go ahead and blow that up. Grab this. Ah, oh, damn it, I'm racing the bomb. Four hour energy. Or 4G. I, I, don't, I don't remember what I read. Uh, sometimes there's items that you need to use. That's, there's Sometimes there's items that you get that you need to use energy for. Uh, and you have to refill the energy with those little uh, battery looking things. Um, I don't have any items like that. They are kind of rare to uh, actually stumble upon. But, um, they are indeed there. Uh, this thing is not dying, but now it is dead. I need, I really need to find health. I got plenty of keys. Usually I don't have four keys all at the same time. But here is a room. Neither of these things are things I could buy, but let's make a donation. Whoa. Okay. That, that's not a number that I put in. You're broken. Give me free shit. Uh, 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 okay, I'm done. Gonna go down here. Gonna grab this bomb. Gonna open this thing. Uh, magic fingers. What, what does it, what does it do? I don't. And it said pay to play. I don't know what that means. I'm pressing the button that usually activates that item that is in that particular spot. And nothing's happening. But these things are here. Uh, they could, it could also be a good luck charm that does something. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I just don't know. Let's, I don't have, I don't have enough hearts. I'm not gonna be able to fucking beat the final guy. Let's blow shit up. See if there's hearts in here. There's a treasure chest. What what is that? Reusable range bomb. Oh, yeah, I'll trade that out, motherfucker. Uh, let's go back to the room that has the charge thing. Um, cause I could use. I killed myself. Didn't even get to do the second boss. Well, that is attempt one. Um. But I'm gonna just show, I'm gonna click restart, and um, as you can tell, it's not the same. I just got the temporary invincibility. Oh, I could have used that. Huh. Anyway, so, every time it's different, which is great. So, I'm, I'm gonna just be doing attempts here and there. Um, in between videos, in between let's plays and whatnot. Um, so if you like this video, thumbs up. If you want to see more from me, subscribe. And I'm going to be doing a, a new let's play, so look forward to that. Mega Crage, signing out.